Hey, what's up y'all? Gary with 110 Scale, and today we're here to talk about some more purple goodies for the Rift. So let's take a look. All right, so here's what we have. Two sets of purple trio Rift trailing arms and one purple front steering link. Front steering link's been holding up great so far, but I put uh, Rockray trailing arms on this thing as soon as I got it, pretty much. Did the leading trailing arm setup even with the, uh, the uh, factory chassis. But as soon as I went to the metal chassis, metal axles, and added all the weight, um, started snapping these link ends uh, a little more frequently and a little too frequently. So I had this out at the CRRS races and managed to break this side, the second run, and the shock mount and the link mount, um, the first run. So both hills I ended up uh, DNFing, um, breaking stuff far too frequently. After it knocked me out of the races, which I actually managed to do pretty well with the bomber in the plastic class. So I might have actually had a hope of doing pretty well um, if I wouldn't have had a failure uh, each, each hill it was on. So um, anyway, so I'm going to open these up, check out the quality, and see how they go. I know my initial main gripe is... It's not the Vanquish and like the Yeti slash Bomber. That's really my favorite design. Um, easily serviceable, easily adjustable. So this will do the trick until Vanquish releases theirs. I'll drop the extra money on the Vanquish ones as long as they make it like that Yeti uh, slash Bomber trailing arm setup. So um, let's get this opened up. All right, so let's go ahead and check out machining quality and everything and see if it's as good as the... Vitavon wheels were. It's one thing I do like about Trio, but as I get more and more stuff, um, it almost becomes, <laughs> becomes too many. They do include the uh, sticker sheet with all their products, so you end up with a whole bunch of Trio stickers. I've been sticking them everywhere, um, but every pretty much every package you get uh, with Trio, if they can fit it in there, it'll come with a sticker. So I double bagged. So after open up the outside bag, it has a sticker. Got one more bag on the inside. And those are separated from each other too to keep from scratching each other. So overall good packaging. Um, no, my lighting's not the best here, but you can kind of see. So the machining here, you got some stepping down here. Trying to catch it in the light there so you can see it. Um, not bad by any means. You know, not something you'd see on a Vanquish part. I think Vanquish, you know, a little bit of what you're paying for extra with the Vanquish stuff is the extra time they take, the extra passes on the mill to get everything smooth. So absolutely acceptable, but uh, probably not something you would see on a Vanquish arm. Looks kinda cool, but but hey, uh, I, I'm, I'm a big uh, function over form kind of guy. I like a little bit of form, but a whole lot of function. And uh, sometimes function can be dropping the price so I really don't mind that little bit of stepping that you really have to see it at the right angle to notice it so overall yeah good quality definitely impressed with those um, pivot balls just a little bit of play not too loose minimal side to side so should keep the rear end square and the front end on mine too so yeah overall the uh, trailing arms looking good let's pop open the steering links see what we have in there yeah. Same setup, good packaging, drill sticker. Double bagging, sticker, sticker sheet on the inside. And I'm not seeing any other hardware in here, so you, I'm assuming I reuse the stock screws, which is fine. Don't mind, I have plenty of them. And both parts of the, both steering arms uh, separated from each other. So let's see what we got here. There's really no noticeable stepping on this one that you can see, nice smooth corners. I like how they do the bevel and the silver, and the rest colored. Same thing, minimal play. 
nice and smooth movement. Check out the main arm there. So yeah, overall, um, great machining. Really the only stepping marks I see, or, or I don't know, step marks is the same, the right term for it, but the only machining marks visible are on the trailing arms on that slope there, where, you know, probably just could just use a couple more passes. Front steering setup, smooth as can be. Anodizing, great. Yeah, I dig it. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this old stuff off. And then I'll be back with uh, how she's looking. All right, so here is how we ended up. Very close match between the Vitavon purple and the Trio purple. Close enough you won't notice. Both of them a little, couple shades lighter than the actual chassis, but had some good differentiation to it. Um, for now, I know it looks kind of wobbly, much tighter than the stock, uh, the factory link there. Um, the stock one did have a lot of miles on it though, so it loosened up a little bit. I guess my only kind of gripe is how far forward this sits. Good thing is it now clears the pumpkin easily without contacting it, but I think they could have come back a couple millimeters on it just to bring this bar in a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely going to hit on more stuff than the factory one did, but really clean look. No issues installing those. And same story for the trailing arms. The only difficulty I had, um, they were perfectly fine in the rear, no issues there. Got my limit straps in, the shocks in, um, all that worked out fine. The front, since I'm running leading arms and I don't have the uh, links pushed out here, it's a bit of an angle, you can see here. So this was a tight fit. They did not want to quite bend all the way, but it doesn't seem to cause any binding. Um, Still get full articulation and everything out of it so not too concerned about that for now but um overall yeah loving the trail stuff you can see i also have the trail sway bar trail rear axles um do a couple more runs do a review on that stuff make sure it all holds up to the abuse but yeah all in all really couldn't be much happier with the trail goodies so yeah anytime y'all need some stuff uh, check out trail i'm um, actually a Full disclosure, I'm actually an authorized Trio dealer too, so check out 110th.com for Trio goodies.